himself. Hi there, parents. Uh, I'm going to give a quick update of a parent meeting I had not very long ago. I didn't have very many parents show up, so I thought I would go through the minutes with you and kind of keep you updated. Uh, actually, you know what? This might be easier if I tell you using some playing cards instead. So hang on one second. Let me spin this around. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, so like I said, I was at this parent meeting, but there really weren't any other people that really showed up. As a matter of fact, there were only two of us. I had myself that was there, and I also had the head of the parent club, hence why there are clubs, right? Makes sense. Um, I apparently, I forgot to send out a dojo message, I guess, so we didn't really have anybody show up. So here's what I did. I told the head of the parent club to go ahead and get in his car, and I told him to drive and find me some parents so we could actually have this meeting, you know, because it kind of makes sense to have parents with your meeting. So the head of the parent club got in his car and he drove. He drove one, two, three, <coughs> four, Sydney's kind of a big town, five, six blocks. And when he drove six blocks, he came back. And when he came back, he brought me one, two, three, four. Four dads, as a matter of fact. So four dads showed up to this meeting, which was perfect. And I was like, hey, man, thanks for going out and doing that. That's very appreciative. I'm very appreciative of that. Um, so we continued this meeting. We had this meeting. We're going on. But you know what? It didn't go very well. I had all these dads, but I had no moms. So we were having troubles. We kept getting off track. We just couldn't make some decisions. So I asked the head of the parent club again, go out. Let's go find some moms and let's get these moms to go join us here at our club. Or at our, sorry, at our meeting. And so he did. He got in his car again and he drove. And he went one, two, three, four, five and a half blocks this time is what he drove and he came back and he came back with one two three four moms four moms came back i was like man that's so helpful where did you find all these moms at? and he said oh that was easy i found them at 468 illinois street 468 illinois street that's awesome i thanked him very much we got back to our meeting so as we were going through our meeting what happened was we have all these moms and dads but they don't really know much about kids. They're a little out of touch with kids. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta send you out one more time. We need to go find some older siblings. Maybe you go out and find some older brothers. So again, head of the parent club, he went out again. This time he drove, he went one, two, three, four, and five blocks. After he went five blocks, he came back and he brought with him one, two, three, four older brothers. Four older brothers, which really kind of helped me out, made me feel a lot better, definitely. Because I was like, hey, now we've got a good set of everybody that's supposed to be here. Uh, but then at this time, I was kind of beginning to question our venue for our meeting. But we continued. Uh, after a while, I noticed that these four brothers didn't have anything to drink. So I was like, you know what? I got to do this again, man. Gotta send you out, man. You need to go find something for these four kids to drink. And so there he goes. Out he went again. This time he drove. One. Two. Three. Four and a quarter blocks. And when he came back from four and a quarter blocks, he brought with him one, two, three, and four ace sodas. Four ace sodas, like, oh man, that is perfect. Where did you find those ace sodas at? And he said, oh, that was easy. I found them on 245 Illinois Street. I was like, 245 Illinois Street? I didn't even know that they even sold ace sodas there. That's pretty cool. Well, our meeting continued and we got all finished up. Some of the parents left, but not all. Actually, as a matter of fact, one parent of two kids decided and asked if everybody wanted to stick around and play some cards. Well, I was totally in, so was the head of the parent club but I needed some change. So I had to send the head of the parent club to uh, go get me some change. He took two $20 bills and he came back with four tens for me. That was super nice. And so I could actually start playing some cards with everybody else. Well, as we were playing, I started to have a conversation with the head of the parent club. I asked him how old he was. He told me he was 68. And I said, that is not at all true. It can't be, you don't look a bit over 35. 
Do you have any kids? I asked. He said, yeah, I have two kids. One of them's three years old and one of them's four years old. I said, wow, do you belong to any clubs? He said, yeah, I belong to one club. I belong to the 77 club. I was like, my goodness. Well, one by one, the rest of the players fold and soon it's just myself and the head of the parent club left. Well, uh, there was a pretty big, gigantic pot at this point in time, and I'm looking over this thing, and I'm feeling pretty good. You know why I'm feeling pretty good? Because look at this. I've got one, two, three, four nines with a seven high. And just as I started to reach for that pot, uh, the head of the parent club said, oh, wait on a second here, buddy, because I've got a straight flush. And with that, he beat me. Can you believe that? So that was our meeting. Well, I realized I didn't do a very good job of taking notes of the things we actually talked about, but oh well. Hopefully you can make it to that next one. I will say as a bonus though, with this nice little cool trick that we just hid, did here, uh, I still have four cards left. These four cards that are left, I'm not going to turn over. You'll have to figure out what they are because they open our next lock. As you see, my lock has different symbols for each of the cards on it. To open up this lock, you need to identify my four missing cards, put them in order from greatest to least, and write down the symbols for each card. That will open up this lock. Sound complicated? Probably is, but I bet you'll get it. Good luck, everybody. Wait,